Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss how to perform a VLF test using the TDM45 or TDM4540. In this instance, we have an example of the typical connections required to perform a VLF or TAN Delta test using the TDM45, which is comprised of just the base module and necessary connections. These connections include the ground from the base module to the station ground, the input power to the instrument, and the high voltage cable leading from the base module to the cable under test. Now this example illustrates the typical connections required to perform a VLF or TAN Delta test using the TDM4540, which is comprised of both the base and boost module as well as the necessary connections. The connections for the TDM4540 include the ground connection from the base to the booster module and to the station ground, the, the control cable interconnecting the base and booster module, the input power to the unit, and then the high voltage connection between the base and boost module to the cable under test. Here we can see an example of the home screen for the TDM45 or TDM4540 that has the pinwheel set up for test selection or option selection. For the purpose of this video, we wish to perform a VLF test, so we will press the test option. Within the test option, we have the option to perform DC testing, VLF testing, and TAN Delta testing, in which we wish to perform a VLF test. Within this, we have the option to perform a sinus VLF test or a rectangular VLF test. In this case, we will go ahead and set up a sinusoidal VLF test. Here we have the phase selection, in which case we can, add, we can go ahead and select all phases to test or which phase we would like to test. In this case, we'll go ahead and test phase one. Next, we'll select our nominal voltage or U0. In this case, we'll leave it at 8.3. And then we can select our test factor. So what, what voltage would we like to perform the test at? In this case, we have it at 2U0. Of course, we can change this and go up to 3U0, 1, what have you. Um, this is completely customizable. So in this case, we'll, we will test at 2U0, which is 16.6 kV. You can change these by going into here, so such as voltage settings. So again, changing your factor. You can change the frequency. In auto, we would test at 0.1 hertz. Now you can go into 0.01 .01 and ranging all the way up to 0.1 to test. Again, we can go back to auto and leave it there. We can set up our duration for this demo. I will go ahead and leave it at one minute. And then we can set our test parameters such as if we want burning um, or if we want to change our voltage input. When we're ready to start the test, we can come over to the start pie chart here click our start, it'll prepare for measurement, it'll do a load detection, and then start performing the measurement in which you can see the voltage transitioning from positive to negative to 16.6 kV RMS or 23.4 kV peak. And you can see the voltage being plotted here. We have our capacitance measurement, our resistance measurement, our frequency, as well as the time duration, the voltage, and our current measurement. Once the measurement is completed, we can go ahead and cancel by H, turning the HV off or the high voltage off or letting the time expire. For time's sake, I'll go ahead and add, turn off the high voltage. Then discharge, it'll say test canceled by operator and allow us to change uh, or save the file. This concludes our discussion of how to perform a VLF test using the TDM45 or TDM4540. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic or for any other support you may need for your electrical testing.